What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to talk to you guys today about a few things in the video game world, video game community, video game news. This is what you guys need. This is what you guys want. This is what you guys have been longing for. But before I get to the news, I wanted to let you guys know that this is Call of Duty Ghosts for PS4. I've been really enjoying this game. I've been playing it a lot lately, kind of getting my feet back in it. And uh, i got to say I've been enjoying it quite a bit since I've, I've reduced all the latency issues I had on this big screen. Hope you guys enjoy the footage. Now let's get on to the news. Do you guys like Bat the Batman Arkham series? I know I had a great time playing Batman Arkham Asylum. Then Arkham City came out and blew my mind. And then Arkham Origins came out and I, I blew uh, something else. I, I don't know what the deal was with that game. I didn't like it nearly as much as the original two. It felt like a cheap, you know, cash cow. Something that just, you know, they, they repurposed all the 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 moves of the game, they didn't really push anything forward, and uh, it was a letdown to say the least. Um, it appears that there's a new Batman game that's being released this year for the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PC. This article is on shacknews.com. There will be a link in the description. Rocksteady's next Batman game has been revealed. Titled Batman Arkham Knight, it is slated for release this year on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. This is also said to be Rocksteady's last Arkham title and is set after the events of Arkham City. Game Informer's upcoming April cover story promises more information on the sequel. It notes that the Batmobile is drivable and the newly redesigned Gotham has wider roads to accommodate Batman's ride. Villains will, villains will include Scarecrow, Penguin, Two-Face, and Harley Quinn, among others. Here's Warner Brothers official description. Today Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment and DC Entertainment are announcing Batman Arkham Knight, Rocksteady Studios' conclusion to the series of award-winning titles Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City. Batman Arkham Knight is based on DC Comics' core Batman license and is scheduled to be released worldwide on PS4 in 2014. And no, I did not misquote. That is what it says in this quote on PS4 in 2014. In the explosive finale to the Arkham series, Batman faces the ultimate threat against a city that he has sworn to protect. The Scarecrow returns to unite an impressive roster of supervillains, including Penguin, Two-Face, and Harley Quinn to destroy the Dark Knight forever. Batman Arkham Knight introduces Rocksteady's uniquely designed version of the Batmobile, which is drivable for the first time in the franchise. Be sure to check out this link because there is a video on the link. What do I think about this? I think it's good news. Uh, you know, after the last Arkham game was kind of a letdown, they actually have an opportunity to do something worthwhile. I want to see them push the envelope to give us more of a feel of being actually Batman again. The last game, of course, you did feel like Batman, but it just was not the same. Also, I think it's a great idea that this won't be on last-gen consoles for a couple of reasons. Well, one reason being that the people who still are holding on to the PS3s and the Xbox 360s will have incentive, if they're Batman fans at least, they'll have an incentive to either get a PC or jump onto the next generation consoles. Another great thing about this is that this game is being built from the ground up for these next gen consoles. So as far as specs, as far as the overall experience, you're going to get a much higher grade experience on these newer consoles. So I think it's great news. Now I'm going to move, move on over to some Xbox news. I know you guys are saying, Beastly, this ain't like you, but this is too good to pass up. Xbox Live's weekly deals include Call of Duty Ghost and Assassin's Creed 4. This is on Joystick.com and this is not any hate news. This is actually really, really good news. And I think everybody needs to know it because uh, Microsoft normally, I mean, I didn't know that they even did these weekly deals. And, uh, you know, this kind of softens the blow of the free stuff they give the games with gold promotion winners or subscribers. Um, this week's deals on Xbox Live include one game on Xbox One and eight on the 360 for gold subscribers. The lone discounted game on the Xbox One store, though, through March 10th is Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, as the standard version is 33% off at $39.99, and the hardened edition is 10% off at $89.99. Or, you know, they do the conversions into euros and stuff like that. But that's that's pretty decent. You get 20 bucks off, uh, you know, the game. Or $10 off the hardened edition. And that's not bad. That's a pretty good incentive if people want to play Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts is also 33% off for 40 bucks on the Xbox 360 this week. And is joined by Assassin's Creed Black Flag on the Games On Demand channel. One third is usually uh, is priced as well. So I don't know why they worded it like that, but... Assassin's Creed Black Flag is also $40. Three more games are 75% off 
for the Xbox 360. I Am Alive is $4, $3.75. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is $2.50. And Call of Juarez Gunslinger is $3.75. Two more are 67% off this week. Galaga uh, Legions DX and Bang Bang Racing, $3.29 each. And lastly, Castlevania Lords of Shadow Mirrors of Fate is half off at $7.49. This promotion is great. Uh, it actually adds a lot more value to your Xbox Live. Uh, if you, it's kind of like a humble bundle, but it's on a console, and I wish they did that more often. Of course, Sony does sales and stuff, but this is really good. I think uh, if they continue to do this, it'll be better for all the you know Xbox fans out there and Xbox users to be able to get these games for just pennies on the dollar. You know, instead of going to get a value meal, you can come back and have a whole new game to play on your console. I think it's a great value. You guys let me know what you think about this, these Xbox Live weekly deals, and uh, leave it in the comment section, and uh, I'll be down there to ramble along with you shortly. On to the last bit of news that I got for you guys today, which is the winning news about my favorite company, Microsoft. Sony, just kidding. <laughs> PlayStation 4 crosses 6 million sales following strong Japan launch. This is on GameSpot.com. The PlayStation 4 hits another sales mile milestone with at least 3 million console owners also buying PlayStation Plus. The PlayStation 4 has now sold more than 6 million units worldwide following the machine's launch in Japan at the end of February. 370,000 units have now been shifted in Japan. Sony announced today the PlayStation 4 has now blitzed past Sony's 5 million sales target for the end of March and 13.7 million games have been sold on PlayStation 4. Four, including 2.1 million sales of kills on Shadowfall. On top of that, uh, at least half of these 6 million PS4 owners have signed up for PlayStation Plus, which will generate another sizable wad of revenue for Sony. A chunk of that is at least partially attributable to the fact that PlayStation Plus is now required to play multiplayer games, which isn't the case for PS3 and Vita. Sony also announced that 100 million shares have been captured although at least five of them are accidentally for, uh, accidentally forgetting that it's not the select button anymore. <laughs> so people are accidentally sharing their game and trying to hit select. And the PS4 has also been used more than 3.6 million times for Twitch and Ustream broadcast. Um, I could continue with this story, but I want to let you guys go ahead and read it. Nah, fuck it, I'll go ahead and read it. The responses we have received for the PS4 system's uh, in integrated social capabilities have been phenomenal, and I couldn't be more thrilled that gamers are uh, utilizing these unique features to engage, share, play, and connect with users around the world. Sony will continue to expand the world of PlayStation by growing its library of breathtaking titles and bringing more innovation, innovative features and services as possible to the PS4. What do I think about this? Um, I think Sony is doing really good. Now they've hit 6 million sold. Um, I don't know how many they're going to sell before the end of March. That's really their uh, their milestone. They, they wanted to do 5 million. They've already done 6. March has just begun. Uh, today's what, the 4th? So they got a whole month to continue to smash ass. Who knows, man? By the end of this month, they might be closer to 6 and a half, 7. If, they, if they're at 7 when they thought they'd be at 5, that means they already knew the console was going to sell ridiculous ridiculously high and uh, they, they're they going to smash it I think it's great news I think Sony's really doing well you guys let me know what you think about Sony uh, and what you think about is you know the Japanese launch I thought that when it released in Japan actually it was going to sell faster than it did uh, I was kind of shocked when they first announced the 300,000 sale mark because I, I've, I, in my mind's eye or whatever, I visualize people in Japan as like rabbit dogs. They're like going crazy, biting, you know, biting people's fingers off thinking about PS4 because they had to wait. You know, like I said before, it's like Sony baked dinner inside their house and then drove down the street across the lake and fed somebody else and said, I'll be back to feed you later. <laughs> but, you know, the fact they're doing as well as they are is still phenomenal. You guys leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.